So let's now talk about what happens at the the level of the the, the twenty three and me's and the ancestry ancestries uh, and companies that are obviously doing something far less than a whole genome sequence or even a whole exome sequence, just on the na- basis of the cost at which they can offer these things. What are they technically doing with the epithelial cell of your cheek or the saliva or the white blood cells that they get? So again, and I'll say, read the fine print of what you sign on the consent form. Um, Number one, it may change over time, and I don't represent any of those companies, so I don't want to misspeak in terms of what they're doing. They are, in general, though, number one, not trying to detect cancer. So any of what I talked about, not the purpose of what they're doing. They're, in general, not trying to read out the genome, at least not for the purpose of getting you medical information for what I call news you can use to manage your own health care. They're largely doing it in a way that I'll call more more recreational. And so with doing that, for any of you who have done 23andMe, you may find out something about, for instance, uh, if you were to eat asparagus, what your urine might smell like or what your ear wax might be like, or if you're uh, lactose intolerant. They are things that are related to how the biology of your body works. They are related to genetic variants. So those two things go together, but they're not telling you based on your earwax if you're going to have major problems with hearing loss down the road or you know cancer risk or things like that. So that's why I use the term recreational in that way. But what um, are they technically doing? Like so to, they are, yeah. yep. So uh, depending on the company and depending on what they're doing, they're oftentimes reading out what we call single nucleotide uh, polymorphisms or so-called SNPs. So they're not reading out the entirety of your genome. They're not reading out all 3 billion base pairs. They are selectively going in and saying at this exact address, do you have an A or do you have a G? At this other address here, do you have a C or do you have a G? And based on that, they may selectively look at those particular variants and say, with your profile, I know that your family, you know, originally came from Egypt uh, or wherever it is, you know, in terms of being able to look at ancestry, where they may say, based on looking at this, I know this particular genetic variant may predispose you to be lactose intolerant. I would expect that you're going to have problems in terms of eating ice cream for dessert tonight. Um, So, you know, that's generally the type of thing they're reporting out. Um, depending on, again, the company and the terms of the agreements, there may be differences, but generically, that's what all, many of them are doing. Uh-huh.